All right, YouTube, today we're going to play some more Death Shadow. This is give or take what I'm thinking that I'm going to do for uh, the SCG coming up. I might cut a Lightning Bolt for another Fatal Push in the main deck, because as I've seen, there's been more Tarn Warth decks lately. But for now, this is what we're going to do. Competitive Modern League. This deck is sweet. That's what this deck is. Oh, I need to update my stream decker or my cardboard live. Uh, cardboard live configure. Clear deck to start for clear. Streaming magic online. Upload. Update stream. All right, Street Decker, uh, the Cardboard Life should be updated. All right, let's not mess around. It's going to be a good league. I can feel it. Cake Man's a good card. All right, we're going to keep this hand. We're pretty soft to an Ether Vial deck, but we've got the Bobble trick to find us, to help give us a little more information, or a little more, uh, I guess, manipulation. The fact that we're playing a, against a Bloodstained Mire deck is likely pretty good here. Sacred Foundry. So we're playing against Burn? Yeah. So our hand is very good against Burn. If we can find a way, to, if we can find a Death Shadow. The Fatal Push is good. Let's look at our top card here. There's a Death Shadow on top. <clears throat> There's a Shadow on top. I'm going to be taking... Three. So we're just going to pass with a Bloodstained Mire. We're going to draw this Death Shadow. And I think I'm going to give my opportunity, myself the opportunity to stub or to push like an Eidolon. Goblin Guide. Okay, so that's definitely, we're definitely just pushing this now. And then it's like how much damage are we taking? So let's let the first one resolve. Dismember. So so if we get a watery grave, we go to 13, we go to 15, push, go to 13. Fetch shock, play a shadow, have stubborn denial up. We can street wraith in response to a bolt. Okay, we drew another land. So let's get rid of one of these. I cut Jace for the last sweeper. Okay. So I think I'm going to get a Blood Crypt. And just play a Death Shadow. Yeah, Jace is, it really isn't that slow, Teddy. Like, I think you and Dalloway are both need to. Like, that's the one thing that I think you're both missing.
Firing Vantage, okay. Eidolon here is going to be annoying. Searing Blaze, that works. Because my shadow grows. I got on a four. I attack. My opponent puts me to. I think I just stub this. Because I stub this. I go to nine. Crack. They're dead, but then I'm dead if they rip exactly Eidolon. Because I'm Eidolon locked. And they can just attack me too. So yeah, we're just going to stub this. Because we let that resolve. And they don't block, they hit Eidolon, we're just like super screwed. Now I think I can even afford, you know, I guess there's no sense in doing anything here. Because we can just kill them next turn. Okay. All right, so they exiled Revolt. So I think we got him as long as this is not a um, Boros charm. Because we get to like check with any position to grow our shadow that one more point. It's a lot of man. Okay. So again, don't you think you can play Jace? I don't think you can play Jace. Yeah, you can play Jace. Do you have any I don't have any brutalities on the board. So again, we just attack here. We're in the same spot. They have to block. There's no sense. We've only got like we don't have many outs to kill this thing. Like we we could we could street wraith into like a six outer, but I think we're just fine here. Yeah, I think you also can see it in the cardboard live. Yeah, so now we've got him because like the the card in their hand is like either a discard spell. No. Now we super got him. What is this playing around? We can't beat Boros Charm. We can beat everything but Boros Charm with the board. So let's just do this because we can see if there's anything weird in their deck. Like they might have like a main deck deflecting palm. This is the mark here. Okay, so it gets burn. Cut dismember, bring in K command. I'm gonna keep this out of here. Keep two street wraiths in to be able to like force it when we need to. Because the matchup's so dependent on Death Shadow. Like, if you have Death Shadow, you're good. If you don't, things can get a little weird. No, because they play Bridge. And the games get slower after sideboard. I'm going to keep this hand, but it might be a little slow. I'm only going to keep this because the games do slow down a lot after sideboard. 
I'm gonna go fetch a steam vents and bolt this thing. I probably should have just bolt it on my turn. And we're just gonna save our life points here. Well, we don't have a shadow, so there's no sense of being super aggressive. Usually out thoughtsies. Yes, you keep all your thoughtsies in. You don't really ever board out, you hardly ever board out thoughtsies when you play Death Shadow. Beats. That's a good draw. Bolts. Then we can go snap bolts. Don't want to play my Scalding Tarn. I got to work up to this Gurmag Angler. So I do think I'm going to play this. I'm actually, I'm actually just going to bolt this now because I really don't want them to like Boros Charm save it because if they Boros Charm save it, it still deals me um, four damage because of bolting it and them attacking. So yield until next time. Step. So like our Snapcaster Mage is going down the drain here. But it'll be a nice little 2 1 beater. Yep, get in there, bud. It's a nice draw. No, you have to draw them. Like, it, like De Death Shadows, do you play Death Shadow, Ma Moheric, or do you play, like, a Jun deck? All right, I got Charmed. Path, Helix, Charm, Charm. Okay, so we're going to take this Path, and then we're going to try to pave the... We're going to hope my opponent doesn't hit a land, and we try to pave the way with, like, K-Command for this burn and hit some stubs. Because our command command's going to hit a 3 damage spell out of this. You play Grixis Shadow? Yeah, you got to keep it in there. You got to keep the Thought Seizes and some number of Street Raids in, I think. Not a lot, but you need them. Oh, nice. Oh, God, this K command is going to be sick. Oh, that's the nut. Okay. Bang. They ditch Lightning Helix. We go to six. I don't even think we have to shock ourselves. Though I do want to shock myself because I want to be able to snap it. So let's just go bing, bang, wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. And this is why K Command is sweet. Because, like, the games just slow down. And it's definitely right to shock after that because they can go, like, Rift Bolt this, Lightning Helix this. I'm not going to counter this one, and I'm going to make them, uh... well, I guess as soon as I counter this, I get another spell in the graveyard, and it frees up my mana, because they can wait on this one. Yeah, I'm just going to do this. They can draw Path right here, <coughs> but I would like to just get it in the man, get it in there, and then, like, All right, Goblin Guide. Coming in with the guide. So I can Thought Seize if I don't attack. If I Thought Seize, I can still attack. 
and then just hold up this Snapcaster Mage. And then I can't attack after that. I think I thought I think I thought sees this and then attack and then next turn don't attack. And I just take, I go to one. I like your reg specs. Are you playing for IQ? What do you mean, Teddy? So I do need to end this game. <clears throat> And this, this Lightning Helix also changes the clock. Dude, playing Death Shadow against Burn is like some of my favorite magic of all time. I used to hate playing against Burn when I played with any other deck, but playing Shadow against Burn is just so nice. All right, we hit a land we can't do anything with. Stubborn denial. Um, what do we have? We've got more. We got more pushes in our deck than uh, than bolts at this point. All right, dude. Knock the top, my friend, and show me what you got. Yeah, dude. Playing Death Shadow against Burn is just a nut. All right, I'd be this thing would already be on the table if I was dead. In my one feature match, I guess it was a backup one. That I can see that being a lot of fun. I played there we go. I played Dredge vs. Mill. Not Dredge vs. Mill. Uh, first burn when our team was featured at SCG Philadelphia. I was so sad they didn't put that on the feature match. So sad they didn't put that on because we had like Death Shadow versus Burn is awesome, and playing um, playing with a Burn match with Patrick Sullivan commentating it would have been sweet. I could have seen Twitch chat be mean to me. Yeah, Dredge vs. Mill is another odd one where you both enable each other. That's the cool thing about this, is you just enable, like, each one of you enables the other one. Opponent says GLHF U2. I would like to play first. Two of my best games ever were caught on camera. Jealous. Sans. Sweet, if we draw a second land. We're just going to lead on Scalding Tarn Pass. I would like to hold this Street Wraith in case I hit a Serum Visions. I also think I played very well in that match. Oh man, opponents mulling a 5, that sucks. We've had opponents mulligan a lot so far in this league. Uh, 
end of this turn. Land. All right. We're at the mercy of our draw cell. I think we're playing, I'm going to guess we're playing against Storm. All right. We're not going to need the third shadow. <clears throat> and there's a chance we get to play Angler. If we keep discarding. I'm going to be really liberal with these dumb denials. Yield for this turn. Nice. The freaking basic island. This game's gonna get weird. Whoa. Alright, so we're not playing against Storm. We're playing against like a scape shift deck. I think. All right, we're going to bolt ourselves to get a move on things here. So we can get we can get going here. Yield through this turn. Nice. Now we can get nasty and have stubborn denial up, which is all I really ever wanted to do in my life. Bring the light. We get the old Rob Meadows special going on here. <clears throat> Pale push, wicked draw. I will stubborn denial this. Any heartbeat. We draw a fetch land, I don't think we can lose. My opponent says got rid of two. Jokes on you. Game over. Yeah. I think it's better if we say it's just BLT shift. We're not really worried about a supreme verdict, as we can uh, as we can deal like they can't cast it, and we can deal with a bring the light for, it, and they would need like a spell pierce on top of it. They actually have like hard cast primeval titan things get hard. <laughs> Bolt me. Okay. 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 My opponent's like, you have three? And I was like, yep. My opponent is confirmed salting off. <clears throat> you got the skill only card in your deck. I care about two. How do you do it, Teddy? Teddy, how do you do it? All right, we'll hit him with the lizard. All right, ready? S L I Z A R D. Yes. 
Hit him with the lizard. Okay, so we're playing against a control deck. I want another stub. I want disdainful stroke. Dismember's okay because it can hit Bayloth on your sideboard. My opponent's still still hitting me with the still hit me with the salt. I don't really like Fatal Push against this deck. I don't. I'm gonna cut one Gurmag Angler because they pretty easily can. Uh, they like we can get get got by Remand here. I don't think Teamer Battle Rage is great. Jace is nice if we can get it, but we have to figure out if this is like a Rug Control deck or a Rug. It's a Bring Delight Scapeship deck, so we don't have to really have to worry about removal that early. Team or Battle Rage just really isn't what we need. I'm not really sure I want to go like full grind. I do want the Snapcaster Mage. I don't really think I want the Jace unless my opponent boards in such a way that warrants it. We'll go one of these. Yes. We're just going to keep hitting him with the Lizard. Yeah, I think we're going to go like this. So we're going to win on board. I don't think we need Battle Rage. You would cut a scour. You guys are crazy with your cutting thought scours. Because, like, yeah, if Relic is a sure thing, I still need to find a ways to get around it. I need to be able to like rebuild. Oh. Oh. I think about a mulligan. Because this hand gets undone by like not hitting a land. We don't have any discard. Like, if these were discard spells, I would keep it, I think. But it's, they're not discard spells. All right, this hand's pretty solid. Um, I don't think we want a Snapcaster Mage. Though Snapcaster probably would have been good in conjunction with the Thought Scour, so I probably shouldn't have done that. I did trim an Angler. I cut one. All right, we're going to keep that when we hit a land. In conjunction with this Thought Scour, we should be able to do some work. Sunken Hollow. Should I fetch a basic to play around Blood Moon? LOL. Okay. God, give me something to point this dismember at, please.
I think I'm just going to pass. Shock and pass. We're not going to play our shadow because they likely have a bolt here. They just shocked themselves for it. And if I want to do something like that, I can just K command them at the end of the turn. Or I can go fat, snap Thought Scour to keep the cards rolling. That's okay. One, two, three. God, if I had another land, I could go like K command this, shock return shadow, play shadow, play shadow, dismember. Nah, that's not good. We're just going to go like this. Hit this thing. What are the odds I actually do something with the second Snapcaster Mage? We get a steam vents with this. I feel like it would have been okay for me to just flash that Snapcaster Mage in there. Big Baylock boy. Five, eight. Make them discard a card. Return seems kind of mopey. Yeah, I'm playing against Bring Light Scape Shift. I could go Snap Dismember, but if they have another land for, uh, if they have another land and two bolts, they kill me, or if they just bring the light. I think what I'm going to do is go Inquisition, hold Lightning Bolt. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're we're attacking. We are attacking for sure. You should be able to see it on the stream decker. We have a tanking opponent. Maybe they lost connection to the game.
They were just a tad salty. When someone's a tad salty, you just gotta hit them with a lizard. Gotta put them in their place and get them with the lizard. They're taking their time. I bet they have like an engineer explosives in their hand. And they're like salting off because they're sad they're losing it. That's what I feel is happening. That's my professional. My professional opinion is that this discard spell is going to yield a. Um, this discard spell is going to yield an engineered explosives. They could have played last turn, but decided to get obstinate. Decided, to, or maybe we can just say decided to get obtuse. Yeah, but like, what does this deck have to kill Death Shadow? Like, they, I guess they could play like a Buck Decay. All right. This is going to get a little tough. I'm going to attack, and if they go to play an obstinate Bayloth, then I'm just going to... They hit a land. We're going to do this to get this in our graveyard so that like our Snapcaster Mages get a little better. 100% stubbing anything that happens here. 60 viewers, I hope everyone's having a good time watching some of Death Shadow. My name is Dylan Hovey. I'm part of the Car Horror Network. If you guys like what you see, please hit the follow button. You're great. Oh, if I draw a fetch land, my opponent's dead. I would like to let everybody know. Fetch land, professional. Good night, Irene. My opponent did say GG's. Twelve years. No, no TBR. I boarded the Battle Rage out. I want to be like, can't beat the sideboard. I didn't show them. I was all main deck cards. Like, they were only main deck cards. Well, Moto's tweaking out. Hang on one second.
Nameless is back. Mr. The Trophy Man himself. Yes, that was a main deck card. You want to let the sideboard. I, a little fever right now. So sad. Can't play. Yeah, we'll just get better. Yeah, I was going to say, you're setting the pace. You're all set. How many leagues a day do you play nameless? Man, my feet are getting cold. I think I need to go get a... Uh, go get my... Go get my... Football. My football. Oh, we're not calling anywhere, bud. We're not going anywhere. What a beast. Would like to play first. Heater. If I don't like my top card, I'll Inquisition. If I like my top card, I will wait. But I'm likely going to Inquisition anyways, I think. My opponent discard spelled also. Or did this? They kept their hand. They're going to put the card on top or bottom. Put a card on the bottom. So let's see what our top card is. It's a pretty good hand. Fatal push. We don't want that. Let's see if we want a discard spell or a cantrip here. We'll figure out what's going on with that. Lightning bolt. Lightning bolt doesn't tell me a lot. I would be willing to bet we're playing against like Jund or Burn. And if we're playing against Jund, I would like to get this in. Okay, we're playing against Burn. Double Eidolon is yikes. But we will take one of them and we'll see if we can find an answer to the other one. And we go, geez. That's not a little number. All right, so we're going to be able to deal with that, uh, that Eidolon. We might have to pay six life to do it, which might be worth it. with my two homeboys. So dismember, take six, shock. If they bolt me, six plus nine, I'm gonna take eight. I actually need the steam vents in order to um, get this to work out, but I don't think I need the bolt. Put the bolt on the bottom. Because they bolt me 14. Dismember. Taking six puts me to eight. Yeah, I don't think we want the bolt. I think we want the steam vents. If they decide to take it slow, we can just snap Inquisition them. It'll let, like, our Snapcaster Mage will get Searing Blaze, but we're not really that worried about it. Because we get to just take a card. So our hand's set up to play a fast game and play a grindy game. Come on, dude. Send it at, give me the lightning. All right, opponent has definitely played against Death Shadow before.
show. Draw a lemon. Go to four, or go to nine, I mean. I, and I consider 1990 to be a hot streak. Yeah, the, the highest I've ever been is like 1845, I think. I think I hit 1845. And I was basically like 4 1 in every single league I was doing. All right, we're going to go snap Inquisition before we attack. No, we can't play that angler. If that's what you're suggesting. You guys both would have played the fish? Or is big fish not a good draw? I'm confused. To be honest, I didn't think about it too, too much because my instinct was just like was just like play the Snapcaster Mage Inquisition. I'm very close to not exclusively from vintage. Some guy knows the tricks of the trade. So we're pretty cool if our opponent decides to bolt helix this Death Shadow. We're down. Which means maybe we should have attacked first. So I kind of want to take the Lightning Bolt, because it's the only way they can, like, double spell. And if they hit a land, it's pretty bad anyways. Dude. Nameless is BDE. He is Mr. BDE of MTGO. No, Landon, we're still good. Because they can't, they can't play. They have to like Helix here. Okay, they can't go Swift Spear plus Searing Blaze. And then kill me. Because they'll be at, I'll go to one. Because the Swift Spear will be two power. God, you are sick. Believe in the modern. I know more of the legacy scene. Alright. So there's Swifty. So if they ripped a spell, we can't go snap this member. Hill. Let's see if we can find a removal spell. Um, I can't do anything cute with this fetch land. Because then I'll die to like a lightning bolt.
You're talking about from earlier in the game? Okay, we're pretty much dead here. Land or spell kills me. Where basically, he has to draw a creature. And I drew a land. Tilt. That lightning bolt would have been good. That lightning bolt would have been good. Maybe I'm supposed to keep the bolt. It takes a lot to foresee a game where it's going to get down to there. Let's see what we had coming. Okay. This is game two. This is game one. Well, what's going on? There, Archmage. Sixty-five viewers. I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out. Y'all are great. Y'all are great. My name is Dylan Hovey. I'm part of the Card Horror Network. I stream usually every Wednesday and Sunday, Sunday, and then sporadically throughout the week. Yes, for sure. Um, I've seen spring, I stream sporadically through the week, but I always post on Twitter. Um, dude, because I'm insanely good looking, Rob. And these Gunner Optics could be sponsored. Are awesome. That's usually what I do nameless. I'm going to give it a try with the two wraiths. I don't think this hand's good enough. We don't have either of our big boys. This hand does not have either of our big boys either, but it has a cantrip, and I don't really want to go down to five. I don't really want this. We gotta find one of our homies. You think the first hand's good? Burn. I think we can find a better six, because like that first hand. That first hand was like any six with a shadow or an angler is likely better than that first hand. I'm going to draw this bobble because I don't really want, like I wouldn't mind fetching a, well, I'm going to thought scour anyways, guaranteed basically. So I think I'm just going to fetch shock. We don't want to draw this bobble. Yield through this turn. No, I had I had a moment. I corrected myself. All right. All right, we're looking to get nasty. Just took me a second. Streaming for almost five hours today. Appreciate everybody that's been hanging out while we've been doing that. It's 
spike me. You got it. Land would be sweet. Gas. Yield through this turn. One, two, three, four. All right, we're going to get a swamp. I could delve one more, but we can keep up appearances here and then push something if need be. I mean, what else are you doing, Brandon? Are you saying, like, this is the game we got to play? Or would you do something different? All right, let's get our attack in here. Okay, I have, I have trouble, because, like, after watching you stream with, like, Cat, I have trouble telling your sarcasm through there sometimes. Oh, yeah. I'm going to do this right now because we might hit a land or something else to do. All right. Incoming. Burn spell. Oh, man, we milled over a stub. Only super serious all the time. I guess there's no point to doing this now. It's it's technically like super correct to do this in their upkeep. God, I hope they take the turn off and cast that rest in peace. Like if we're gonna be 100% toe the line correct. It's better to wait there because it's not like we can do anything more with our plays. I think you should have fetched a tap blood crypt. So that the chances of that mattering are slim. Oh no, that makes sense. I just went on autopilot. God, please take the turn off and I just like zoned out. No, that that was right. That was hundred percent right. If that line was a play was available to me. Because then I should have done that. God, if somebody searing blazes me, like more power to them. So we know they have a rep. Playing around place price of progress. Oh, yeah, I'd be pretty surprised. Like, I really hope they rest in peace me. Like, I think probably, like, if they pass with mana up, like, I don't think I can win unless I draw, like, exactly stubborn denial. I'm fairly certain. That's not bad. One of their card, one of their three cards is rip. Now this doesn't really matter because going from uh, seven, three to seven, or nine to seven isn't doesn't matter too too much. All right, one two three four five.
Yeah, or Exquisite Firecraft. I swear to God, dude, if they have an Exquisite, it's not going to matter, but probably just play another Gurmag Angler, play a Tap Land. And then even if they go triple one drop, we got them. Or do we just give them something to think about without playing an, a Gurmag? Let's just not lose the path. Like, Because I don't think my opponent can afford to play around very much here. Like, I think my opponent's pretty shoehorned into just going for it if they got it. So there's no sense in like in going nuts. Flash and snap's no good because, okay. Flash and snap is no good, Teddy, because... I would need to go like bolt snap bolt in order to make it work. I could shut off the fetch land. But I think just putting another Gurmag Angler on the table beats more things. So my opponent just had stone nothing. So they're bringing in rest in peace. They're bringing in rest in peace. We should sideboard in our Jace. Just kidding. I almost want to bring another Death Shadow in if they're playing Rest in Peace. Because I think we're going to have to play... We need to just more reliably play a Death Shadow game. I agree, too. Because especially if you... You need to do your game plan. If you fumble around with a deck that has cantrips, you're going to lose. And also, like... Spirits have rest and spirits have reflector mage. And like reflector mage is just a better way of dealing with Gurmag Angler than rest in pieces. And it's not like you're really gonna lose uh, a lot of thought sees a lot of Snapcaster games. This being said, I seriously doubt that they're going to have Colagon, they're gonna have ensnaring bridge and rest in peace so i'm going to cut one of these bring another shadow in bring another street wraith in to be able to just play a more explosive reliable death shadow game yeah let me make your lava mantis a little worse which lava man's nice This is kind of on the on the win here. Yeah, I like the I like the command because I think actual two for ones matter against this deck. Okay, so pretty explosive Gurmag Angler hand. Not even really right. Yeah, we can't even get Gurmag on two because one two. We do just lose to rest in peace. I think we're gonna ship this back. All right. We get a Death Shadow here. We're kind of doing it. Uh oh. I have to F6 with Street Wraiths. We kind of have a nice six here. Like, we need a Death Shadow. Eidolon, Eidolon, Exquisite Firecraft. Nice. Let's take one of these other ones. Exquisite Firecraft makes me drink. I wonder if they bring this in and rest in peace. I'm just like, dude, look at my combo deck. We need to get an OG shocks we can Yeah. I like I like shock land. I like the OG I like the old black shock lands the best. Hopefully we naturally hit our land drop. Because I think I, I don't think I can spend time serum visioning.
I supposed to cycle this street race blind? Yes. All right. All righty. Mountain. Why would you do this now? You draw another one? Fetch Island means that I'm dead to spell spells, so let's not do that. Go to six. Unfortunately, I've got to like figure this out. Now, maybe that was loose. Hey, Hi. still going. Um, yeah. Phil's been out. Yeah. Okay, Phil was out like an hour ago. Yeah. All right, we can beat Lava Man. I'm going to go get, oh no, that was stupid. This was very stupid because now I can't cycle these. I messed up. I messed up. I just cut off like one of, I just cut off like a real winning line of play there. That fetch there was just dumb. I was distracted. Okay. Let's see what would have happened. If we would have cycled this. Too many rays. Maybe I sideboarded poorly because I was worried about uh, um, whatever it is. I was worried about um, Rest in peace too much. So what do we have coming here? Oh my god, Moto can't handle this. Alright, I'm going to go say hi to my wife, and then I will be back for the last two matches, and then we'll call it. Be right back. That was church. You play fun for a while. Now we need to come out. We're now at 10 30, 11 o'clock. Oh, 10 30, 11. Hold on a minute. You come out kind of late. You find the other. Okay, I'll bring that. I've got a little machine. Some time for you to go fix your catalog, your closet. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Street Wraith of Benalia. All right, jump back in here. Two more matches, and we're going to call it. Appreciate all 70 or so of you guys hanging out tonight. Or hanging out this morning. It's not tonight. So I'll throw this up here. My name is Dylan Hubby. I'm a part of the Card Hoarder Streaming Network. If you guys like what you see, please hit the follow button. If you want to support me more, head on over to YouTube and subscribe on YouTube. All my Twitch streams are archived over to YouTube, so you can always see those. Uh, Gamer Craze is a store. 
where I learned to play Magic up in upstate New York. They do a lot of online stuff, and they compete with Cool Stuff Inc. for the lowest prices. If you want to chat with me about Twitter, uh, on Twitter about uh, Magic, then check me out there. Oh, you guys want to see Philly with a toy in his mouth? Come here, Phil. Philly boy. This is this is Philly and his uh, red toy. Philly boy. Philly boy, say hi to Twitch chat. Say hi to Twitch chat. Hi, Twitch chat. Okay. Put you guys back. Look at that, I gotta follow. All I have to do is put my dog up there. All right. Uh, this hand's pretty solid. Could be a little slow. Dude, he is the good boy. Philly is the best boy. I don't think I wanna fetch basic swamp. Okay, so this is the Arclight Phoenix deck. So I think with this Arclight Phoenix deck, I just want to attack their resources early and often. I think that the best cantrip they have is Serum Visions here. Yield through this turn. It's important to get a threat going on here pretty quickly because like this deck's gonna do what it wants to do. Taking more folks or scour might have been good. Cycle this. Uh, one more time. Now we're gonna get nasty. That was a good hit. We're gonna fetch a basic swamp here. We want to learn more about our opponent's deck too, because there's definitely a chance that um, that it, it changes how we board. Like if they have Crackling Drake, we're probably not bringing Leyline in. You think you take is it Charm? Okay. Is this? I'm just going to play a tap steam bench. We're at 10, which in increments of Phoenix hits is one more turn than being at 9. That's a free math lesson for everyone hanging out. I just thought their hand was pretty poor. Like their hand didn't have a Phoenix or like a Bedlam Marvel or a Crackling Drake. Or a second land, so I just wanted to take their best cantrip. But I haven't played against this deck very often. I am going to look to get this Snapcaster Mage in play pretty soon. Lightning Axe, Ditch, Is It Charm? What a tilt. Okay. Yield through this turn. All right, we're gonna need some magic now because we're not really doing anything. Our opponent's not doing anything either, but I don't know. I to tell you the truth, I haven't worked with this enough. So I'm gonna fetch in my upkeep and their upkeep. Because I want Revolt turned on in case my opponent just hard casts a Phoenix or returns a Phoenix. But I don't want to draw this Watery Grave. I'm going to fetch that Watery Grave in case. Um, all right, well, stuff is decent. Actually, stuff's not good. Animorphos. Okay. 
Yeah, my gut would tell me to, if we see Drake, to not do that. Okay. They hit a phoenix. Bring a phoenix back. Okay, phoenix is coming back. It appears only one. If we see Bedlam Reveler, we are going to side in Leyline of Void. Bolt me. Okay. We're pretty low on resources, but you know, we also don't have a lot going on here. Snap push. I decided to fetch a basic. I didn't have this stuff in, in hand at in my hand at the time. That bolt wasn't worth a stub. We couldn't do anything after that, Teddy. We couldn't push the Phoenix. I think I just keep both the removal spells. We can't turn them on at the moment because I didn't fetch a double red, but. Oh, I want to get the Snapcast Mage in play. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see what you're saying. Yep, no, 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 you're right. You're right. I zoned out. I was very much on, like, we're going to get this Snapcaster Mage going. But in all likelihood, the Snapcaster Mage isn't going to win me the game, anyways. No, you were right. We didn't have a scour in the graveyard. All right, what do we got here? Do we got a crackling drake? Fiery temper, me. You got it. We're getting this Phoenix back. They are getting this Phoenix back. Look at that. If we would have stubbed this thing, we would have been in good shape. Okay. So let's see if we can pull it together for two more games here. It's going to be interesting to see how the sideboard here. Because, like, maybe we can still bring in uh, Leyline of the Void and just make sure that we have enough answers to um, Crackling Drake and Thing in the Ice. Like, what if we just board like this, cut these and these? Because we're not 100% sure. We didn't see Bedlam Reveler or Crackling Drake. I'm actually thinking about taking out the stuff and taking out a snap for the stuff in the mile. I don't know what to take out. Our discard spells might not be great. That tells me to do. This is what my gut tells me to do. And I think I'm going to do this. Now, you can't trim on looting when you bring in Leyline of the Void. Now, we got to kill them, Teddy. I don't think that, like, I don't think we can actually control the game. 
We have to just disrupt them enough, punch a hole in them, we gotta just kill them. They're not playing Rumaine. I don't know, I like I like trying to get this game over with. And like Gurmag Angler also gives you a unique out of being able to like play a threat at a higher life total, which I like. It does get lava axe as we saw, but and it's like you can't mulligan in this hand, I don't think. This is gross. We get a lot of looks at what we're looking for here, so I'm going to keep this. I'm going to bobble myself, and I'm likely not going to Serum Visions on turn one. I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to Serum Visions. I think finding a threat is pretty important. And they have Thought Scour in their deck, so they could just not do anything. So I'm going to Visions. I think I like one of these. Because I'd like to be able to hit a thing in the ice. But not the second one. Then we can fetch an island with this if we deem it necessary. All right, let's see what's going on here. Well, I guess I drew that dismember, so maybe I don't have to do this. We might settle in for a longer game here. If I take this thing, am I stubbing this Thought Scour? And I think the answer is yes. I kind of just want to take this thing here. It's either thing or looting, and it's probably, this fixes their hand. We stub this, then they're left with this crap, and we can dismember. We're probably fetching an island. Yeah, let's get rid of this. Let's try to slow them down a little bit. I'm definitely going to stub this Thought Scour. Fetching an island. We're, gonna, we're going slow mode here. All right, opponent's big brain in us. Big brain in us. Nice. All right. I think we fetch an island and dismember this thing. Yield through this turn. We're on time. Put on the top. I'll put on the bottom. Put on the top. Okay. <clears throat> You'd have visioned last turn. I guess we know that about our opponent now. Get out of here. So we know their hand, at least a couple of the spells in their hand. How much am I fetching? How much damage am I doing to myself? I 
I guess leaving the fetch land here is free until the end of the turn, because even if they go bolt, bolt, you stub one bolt, and this is three damage on it. We know three out of the four cards in their hand. We could get wrecked by like a dismember. Stalled in turn. So we still know three out of the four cards. Dude, let's just pray to God this isn't a crackling drake. This is a crackling drake. Oh my gosh. Oh, so I know their hand now. I kind of want to stub this. Oh no, that's kind of aggressive. Because if they looting into another bolt, then they just have steam vents. No, we're going to let it go. I, I didn't think about exactly what was going on there, and I made some game actions. It's a tough spot. We have plenty of blue, and like there's a there's a legitimate chance. There's a legitimate like we might just cast this Leyliner Void next turn. Put two cards on top. Okay. So my, what am I doing? I don't think I can play this ley line. I did two set up my username and TG bot. These games are intricate. They cast Crackling Drake, we get to snap Dismember, and we go to six. The last card is Bolt, we can't. That's a nice draw. We're gonna put them on nine. So we can go four, four, five and still be good. Thing, man, walk this, man, walk this. I'm just gonna definitely gonna stub a discard outlet. One on top and one on the bottom.
thought scouring themselves. This puts an arc light phoenix into the graveyard. And they'd have to have land bolt bolt to kill my shadow, and then I can just play around it. So yeah, we're gonna stub this. I'm thinking about more like I want to hit this, and if they stub this, and then we have, um, I guess, yeah, we have push. We have push. I thought about thinking the ice is a blocker, but then we could just go push, snap, push. And it's the same thing. No, you're right, Brandon. We could go push, push, snap, push. If they've got like thing in the ice, which is what I was worried about. I was like, okay, we've got, we can cover a phoenix. Now we just want to cover thing in the ice, and I was like, we we could do both. But if they played thing in the ice, then we just kill them because we'd go fetch shot. Yeah, they just bolt our Snapcaster Mage, which is Mopey. We can assume their top card's a Phoenix. At least that's what I think. Yeah, what I was thinking, it's just all around's not good. Yeah, it's tough to play. It's not a deck that's going to carry you like a Tron deck will. It's a deck that will carry you from like 80% to 95%. If you can get to 85%, if you can play the deck at 85%, then all the cards are so powerful that you're good. Collective Brutality. Target opponent reveals his or her hand. Okay. So the last card is Lightning Bolt. So they're going to take my Fatal Push. I'm going to not fetch because their top card's a Phoenix. And we want to be able to have our Shadow live through a block. So we can't fetch. Thought Scour is potentially nice. Could have Thought Scoured them, but we have that beat. God, we mill over both of our lands. It didn't, does not appear we did. Watery Grave. Yeah. Steam vents. Tanya. Yeah, no. Yeah, fetching was wrong. Yeah, but I was just thinking about it. I think we're going to leave the ley lines in because we still haven't seen anything. Unless, did Ross, Miriam. Ross, Miriam, Grixis, Phoenix. So let's take a look here. Because if Ross played Collective in his sideboard, did play two Collective Brutalities. So maybe this is just Ross's list. But do we have enough answers to 
crackling drake to where we're okay anyways. Because, like, here's the deck. If I had to assume he sideboarded out some number of lightning bolts, or some number of fiery tempers and lightning bolts, and sided in engineered explosives, collective brutalities, and probably dispels, I think between Snapcaster Mage, we have enough room to deal with Drake and Thing and still be able to be okay with them having um, minimal or not like Leyline Void not being as great. It's such a positive environment going on. Cutie boy. You are so cute. Can we play with your belly? <clears throat> Get ourselves some tight margin magic here. What does his hand do? We can play Shadow on two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Play Angler on three. His hand's borderline. I think I'm going to keep it, but I think it's like a lower end of good. There's no interaction. Like it's very aggressive, but there's no there's no interaction, which is like a little annoying. Well, we just don't have any interaction. That's what I'm talking about. Like it's one of those hands that like if you draw into something, it's nice. But like we don't have any manipulation. We don't have any um we don't have any manipulation or anything like that. My opponent puts a spell in the stack. I think I'm going to cycle Street Wraith. Because if we spike a stub, that would be nice. Now, is it worth cycling here? One, two. Let's just unchalk and then untap. Okay. We're using all of our mana. I think we are, so let's do this beforehand. No, it's good now. We got double, we got the old double slim shady. Manamorphos thing. So we can take a bolt or a manamorphos. I think we take bolt. And then we still play our shadow. Because my opponent would like to use the lightning bolt at the end of the turn, they're not doing it in the shadow. I kinda wanna take lightning bolt. And then give them the option to deal with our death shadow. And then we can go death shadow angler next turn because we're gonna have one. Yeah, I'm gonna take this bolt.
And then I'm pretty okay with no matter where this bolt goes, to tell you, to tell you the truth. Like if this bolt goes at me, then sure. If this bolt goes at my opponent, goes at my Death Shadow, then it's not going at me, which is also not bad. Okay. And they're also not cantripping. What is slightly annoying is unless we hit a fetch land, I can't go push Shadow Angler. Hitting a fetch land would be nice. Huh. Doesn't do anything. That still doesn't really do anything. Okay, one, two. I would like to keep probably Fatal Push in my graveyard as, as this game goes longer. We might have to kill multiple Phoenixes. Brutality. Yeah, the brutality is no no bueno here. Diddy boy. Diddy boy. Are you playing with your Kong? Dad, are you winning? I'm battle raging him, Phil. How do we get so low on cards? Did we like, did we mulligan? No, we didn't. I guess we have two big dudes in play. Should we all see the deck list in the stream decker, Huey? Yeah, dude, that took me a second to get to register. Engineer explosives. You know what, Dalloway? You're a goon. Gas. I'm going to take this thing. If they want to, like, do something with the Arclight Phoenix then that is A-OK -okay with me. They're wasting their whole turn to do that. And at least they can't do thing plus. Now this is 8, which puts them to 11, and then Fetch Shot kills them next turn. But I'm totally cool if their entire turn is cast Arc Lake Phoenix. I don't want them to go like Thing in the Ice and do stuff, maybe get another Phoenix back and have a blocker. No, I'm not taking the temper. All right, they did have crackling great. Oh, they still kept the temper in. Okay, I thought you were telling me to take the temper. Okay. How many arc lights are you going to find? One. All right, how does this end badly? We know they have temper. I mean, I'm just going for it regardless. So, might as well just do this now. I 
It appears my opponent has hit the F6 button. Hmm. My whole thing was that I was going for it anyways. All right, let's see if we can get the old 4-1 here to end up the stream. I always make the mistake of playing too much standard and losing ticket before I move back over to modern and win them. Those are interesting games. Like, I'm not really sure how good that deck is, but... But like, you know, you gotta you gotta walk the tightrope. That's what you hope. I think if you can find a good version of it, it's likely very good. That's everything, right? Yes. In case you're trying to be broken. Anything with Snapcaster or Thoughtseize? Likely, um, Surgical is likely better if they play <coughs> Crackling Drake. And Leyline's better if they play Bedlam Reveler, but I'm not even sure you want to bring Surgicals in to deal with the Arclight Phoenixes. Heater. Absolute heater. Nice. We're going to lead off with the Inquisition, because this is 15. Yeah, we can still get our Shadow into play next turn. Huh? All right. All right. We're going to take this. Then we're going to Thought Seize this. And we're going to dismember this thing. Yield through this turn. This is the old blue white something. I think I just beat over the top of this Geist. I don't even know if I care about having this Geist in here. Does Geist even matter? Sounds like playing with fire. They can't even cast it. Holy shit. You're never going to cast this Cryptic Command. I'm just going to take this Geist. Don't rip on me, bud. Oh, this field's going to be annoying. Turn off, auto yields, go here. And then I think we just dismember this thing. Fetch land got him. Tilt. Fetch land. Tilt. 
put on the bottom. I kind of just want to like look for a stub. So drawing a geist. Oh, I shouldn't have shot. Nope, that was not good. That was not good. Here's this geist. Okay. Should not have shot, because now if they hit a land, then go cryptic attack my team and kill me. So we, we might have just tossed it. Yeah, we might have just tossed it here. Oh no. So what do they have? They don't have this field of one. They have sub they have cryptic command X. I should play my other shadow because I lose to Path to Exile if I don't play my other shadow. I deserve to lose. Vapor snag. <laughs> I deserve that. I shocked, but I didn't have to. Vapor snag. Oh, man. All right, how do we sideboard here? Because we're playing against an, a rather odd deck. They got something going on. I tossed that match, though. That's not a, a game like that's not Death Shadow, not one Death Shadow loses often. I don't really want to play the control plan if they're playing a bunch of Kitchen Finks and Resto Angels. I kind of just want to play the Battle Rage plan. I'm telling you, Teddy, the Jace is good against Thoughtseize and Snapcaster Mage decks. If I don't think I'm going to play enough Thoughtseize and Snapcaster Mage decks to warrant it, then I won't play it. But if I think that I will, it's the best option. I could board in like some lava mans. <coughs> but I kind of just want to like play enough removal, beat down and end the game. Why are strokes good? I could have bored in another stub. Gosh, my computer's tweaking out. We've been going for. Just a, oh, about just under six hours. So my computer's probably like I need a break.
<clears throat> they play like Cataclysmic Gear Hulk. Is this what this deck's doing here? Right, any deck with Thoughtseize or Snapcaster Mage in there? You'll do this turn. Okay, so I can take six and get my shadow in play. Which is probably gonna happen. I don't know if he boards it in against you, but he plays it. Okay. Do you know the guy that plays this deck? Blood Crypt, Steam Vents, right there. Holly plays. Good on him. I think I want to bolt myself. Now we got, looks like we have battle ready. Unless they can go, they actually can go field, untap field. Can they do that? Hang on. One, two, three. Make mana now. What a terrible thing to do. I'm not going to shock myself. I guess I do shock myself to be able to go stub, snap, stub. No. Because I need to be able to go battle rage. That's stupid. I just like had a moment there. No, I did have to shock myself because they have a removal spell. No, I'm losing my mind. I'm tired. You got a path? Yeah. Yeah, I thought about that, Brandon. Yeah, I'm a little out of it, but we got memed on. I feel like if I had had my head on straight, I could have won this second game. Because like if I would have flashed in snap blocked, then we'd be in like such better shape here. Yeah, I just played this game here poorly. No, I mean I just I just played stupid in this game.
But no, he didn't. Like this guy wasn't lucky. I gave him the sat. Like if I if I would have flashed in my Snapcaster Mage to try and eat this Geist, I could have done. I could have beaten anything that my opponent would have done. Hell, even if I would have just not gone for the Battle Rage. All right, let's open up our pity chests. Or push the angel. Like they were like I think pushing the angel is not good because you want to make sure your battle rage is lethal. So let's go back here. Let's open our pity chest. My god, Moto's just tweaking out. We'll talk about the deck and then I will call it a day. Okay. Let's see what we got. Relentless Dead. Probably worth two cents. Re Dude, I'm I'm so I'm tired I can't even spell. Are the foils worth seven and a half tickets? Okay. Let's go back here. That's what people said. So I am fairly confident on 73 of 75 cards here. The only other cards that I would change, I might add another Fatal Push if Tarmogoyf decks are on the rise, and I would trade it for a Lightning Bolt. And then I might make this Jace something else. It likely won't, like, I will cut it for something that helps somewhere else, because I don't think, if I don't want to play the Jace, it is because it's just not needed, and that you just don't need it for fair matchups, like you won't play against them often enough. And I just want the help somewhere else. So that's the only real re real place where I am with this deck. That's why I've been playing so much standard. It's because this deck's pretty hashed out. Pretty straightforward. Like, I don't mind having maybe four pushes in the 75 because like the Tarmogoyf matchups are harder. And just being able to just run your opponent out of Goyfs might be, and like all their creatures might be a way to win. play Garouk Relentless. So. Teddy, have you ever played Jace in this deck? You're killing me. Yo, those those old OG uh, Jun Shadow lands, Jun Shadow mana bases were actually good. I think it's the best option for the slot, Brandon. Like, are you not gonna? Are you gonna play like a Liliana of the Last Hope? Like, like the the Lilianas are so bad now. Like, are you gonna play a third Kolagon's Command? Like, if I if I want a card to help me in these grindy matchups, like, what are you gonna play? Because this card, this card buries people. I think Kira is awful because, like, they just beat you over the top. Kira was decent. Like, the most underrated aspect of Kira was that it blocked Lingering Souls. You play a Hazaret into a deck that's got four Liliana the Veils. Like, that seems wild to me. And it's like you're going to just go – you're like – you're just trying to get under and kill them. That's what you're trying to do. You're not even trying to play their game. Okay, so you don't have, like, an actual good answer. Okay. But, like, this thing buries people when you get it going. Collective Brutality? 
That card's just awful unless you know you're playing against a lot of company decks or a lot of burn. I've played it off and on. And it's just it just never impresses. The new Ral's too expensive. 